Hello everyone and welcome back to the Wizard 101 Crafted Guys series video. I know it's been a few days, but we're back. Um, I do plan to finish every single spell and I'm getting there, definitely getting there. Uh, probably about halfway through at this point, a little bit less than that. But today we're going to be going over the spell Athena Battle Site right here. You can see my storm has it because my storm has the most amount of these spells simply because he has done lore master a lot of times and got, have gotten nothing of value. I've gotten no storm spells. Kind of tragic, but whatever. Um, Athena Battle Sight is definitely a good spell. I would say that it is probably one of the better spells you can craft, especially because it has that weakness. Um, but anyways, this is uh, how you do it. We're going to get right started. Um, boom, this is the recipe pulling it up on the screen you need 10 athena battle site treasure cards which you can get from lore master um and i'm assuming you can get it from the uh, mount olympus you can get it from zeus uh poseidon and hades which is true for a lot of these other treasure cards um <clears throat> but let's get into the other uh aspects of the recipe so the first one is the 120 perfect amethyst and the 200 ghost fire Excuse me, both of those can be gotten from uh, our friend Architus over here. You can see you can get the perfect amethyst and ghost fire right here. Uh, decently cheap. Boom, eat it up. It'll be perfect. Uh, next is Grendel Weed. Let me uh, check where to get that. All right, so I'm back. I've looked up where to get Grendel Weed. The best place, in fact, is in Grizzleheim. Now, Grizzleheim. Um, the reason why it's the best place is because um, A, it does have Grendelweed naturally spawning, B, it has frost flowers naturally spawning, and frost flowers are also used to uh, transmute into Grendelweed. 15 frost flowers per Grendelweed. I'm sure you can find frost flowers like all over the place. I don't know the specific like best places to find frost flowers, but I can tell you right now that they're gonna be all over the place in Grizzleheim. Uh, real quick, I'll give you some locations. You'll probably see this too. You can get it in Austrian, Merkholm Keep, Northgard, Winter with Deep Warren, Hall of Valor, Nastrond, Ravenscar, Helgren Warren, uh, Nidavilar, Sudralin, Hundlefjord, Nordralin, and Vesterlin. So that's like almost every single place in Grizzleheim can uh, have frost flowers naturally spawning. And from those frost flowers, as I said, transmute Grendel weed. I don't think I have the actual transmute Grendel weed. Um, I don't know why I would. Yeah, but I do have transmute frost flowers. So if you want to transmute frost flower, frost flower, you can from Mistwood and Stone Block. Uh, next on the recipe is turquoise. So it looks like the only real way to get turquoise is from battles and the bazaar. Um, a lot of, it looks like a lot of uh, enemies drop it. Um, let's see, Aether Elementals. Okay, no, not Aether Elementals, that's a boss. Let me just look at all the bosses. I don't know if um, any street enemies could drop it. Uh, let me check and see if there's any street enemies that can drop it real quick. All right, so I looked through the list. Um, the easiest enemy I'd say that's on here, I don't know, what, yeah, you can see this. Um, so you can see here the Iron Paw in um, the Bastille, in, uh, in Polaris, he can drop Turquoise. I mean, he can also drop a lot of other reagents, but uh, that would probably be the easiest way to get Turquoise. Otherwise, the Bazaar is definitely the easiest. I would say the Bazaar is the easiest anyway. Um, scrap iron, I'm gonna go to where, uh, I've mentioned it quite a few times, but I'm actually gonna go to it this time so you can see where exactly to get scrap iron. Okay, so this is one of the places I said, which is Knight's Court. You can see I'm at Knight's Tower right here. Um, it doesn't look like it's like a super common thing, but I do know Chelsea Tower, it's much more common. But you can find scrap iron really throughout like all of Marleybone. Like, okay, so here's some mist wood, which isn't what we want, but Scrap iron is a very common reagent in Marleybone. Um, how I mentioned frost flowers are very common in Grizzleheim. Um, basically, uh, scrap iron is the frost flower of Marleybone. Marleybone has it all over the place. You shouldn't need to look super hard for it. Um, if you just go up and down the streets, I'm sure you'll find a lot of it. Um, it doesn't look like Knight's Court's actually the best 
place for it. But I knew I do know even Re uh, Region Square um, has some scrap iron laying around. Like uh, you can see, there's mistwood right here. Um, I know the scrap iron can spawn exactly like that mist would just around in the street um, Again best way to get scrap iron in the game um, You'll get it decently fast that way or you can go for uh, you can see the summer right here or you can go for um, It in the reagent section or reagent bundle section over here in the crown shop you can see I'm getting quite a bit of scrap iron right now. Actually, I've gotten like six or seven just since I've unpaused the video. So you just switch realms and do that. All right, so if you're looking for sunstone, the place I would recommend is the bazaar. But if you're not patient enough to refresh the page in the bazaar and wait for it to uh, show up there. Okay, so first off, you can get sandstone from stone blocks as a side drop. Um, that's definitely not the way to go about it because that will not spawn extremely frequently. But, um, you can see, uh, right now I'm in Stone Town. You can see that there's a actually a decent amount of reagents here, but I know that uh, sandstone can spawn here decently frequently. Uh, 15 sandstone to a sunstone. Let me see, I should have that one, yeah, right there. 15 sandstone to a sunstone. Um, you should be able to just kind of go up and down the areas and kind of look for it because, um, sandstone does kind of stick out of the ground a lot i mean obviously you need to be in range of it so you want to you know circle the entire street but let me see if i can switch realms to like torrents <clears throat> let's see if there's any here i just wanted to uh show you guys in the video that uh this strategy does work um sandstone is pretty rare um I'm actually gonna look up other locations real quick for it just because I want to see uh... Okay sandstone which uh, you can get from a lot of places uh, yeah stone town and the Savannah you can get um, You can get it um, It does appear to be decently rare, but I would recommend okay. It's not super rare, but it's decently rare um, I would recommend buying it from the bazaar. That's the easiest way, definitely. But the, here's also a good location for black lotuses and stone block if you want it. So uh, there you go. That's pretty poggers. Um, the last thing on this recipe, um, I have gone into in a previous video. I'm not going to really go over it again, but I'm going to touch on it. <clears throat> Amber, which um, you can get in a multitude of ways. Arena tickets, 2500 per. Not the best way to do it. Um, you can get it from a lot of the rare bosses. Amber Dust and Merle's Whiskers can be transmuted into it, which are common drops from a lot of the future bosses. And the best all-around way to get it, in my opinion, is from Cronus. Cronus is a side enemy, Tartarus, um, secret boss. Um, he drops Amber semi-frequently. My friend Calvin got, um, I believe, 25 Amber from him over the span of one day. So you can definitely get it too. That was with double reagents though, so keep that in mind. You can definitely get Amber from him and farm it. Sadly, you cannot get it in the bazaar, so that's a no-go. But that's it for this uh, video. I think for my future craft videos, I might stick to this style where I show you where each reagent is. Before, I'd obviously listed where each reagent is dropped, but I'd never really gone in depth for quite a few of them, and I'd never actually gone to the area. I feel like that might be, might be a better idea, but, um, you know, I'll obviously, uh, you know, uh, uh, I'll just do what I think is right uh, at the time. But you can see that the, uh, the bazaar can be good for certain reagents and uh, getting the reagents you need. Um, I just got like a diamond, which I knew we needed in the past one, some other stuff. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like, hit the sub button, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Thank you all for watching.